Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam and Venom here. Uh, today we are going to be rooting our brand new Nexus 7. This is the 2013 model. And we're going to be using this one-click method by a gentleman named Wug Fresh. I've used his toolkit in the past to root the Nexus 4 as well as the original Nexus 7. And it works great, so we're going to do it again today. So stick around and I'll walk you through the steps. Yes indeed guys, this is uh, for the brand new Nexus 7 as I was saying. This Nexus 7 is the one that has the Nexus word written in landscape on the back. Also has the camera. This is not the routing method for the original Nexus that has the word written in portrait view. If you need the root method for this device, check out the link down below in the description to my video on how to root this one. So first things first, I'll put a link down in the description to where you can find this toolkit. This is the Nexus Root Toolkit by Wug Fresh. Big thanks to him for providing this for us. This thing, guys, is going to make it so easy to unlock the bootloader of the Nexus, root it, and install a recovery. So with this application, you're going to be completely ready to go to flash uh, custom ROMs or, at the very least, run applications that require root. So when you go to the thread and you download the file, it's an executable file here, you just want to double click it and walk through the steps to get this up and running. You'll have to download a couple things. You'll have to download possibly a, a custom boot image as well as the recovery. And then you'll have to go in and choose what device you're working with here. I chose the Nexus 7 version 2. This is the Wi-Fi tablet. This is not the uh, LTE version. And I chose the model that I'm running. Now in order to find out what model you're running, uh, my brand new one here is turned off, so I'll show you on my old one here. Go into the settings, go all the way down to about tablet, and then it'll have your model right down there. So taking a look around this toolkit here, uh, we have this section here that will install the drivers for you. You can check to make sure you have the drivers installed, and if you do not, you can follow the steps in this little area to install the drivers. Then we have here, we have the unlock feature. This is going to unlock the bootloader. Then here you can root your device and install the custom recovery. Then once it's all said and done, if you ever need to return to stock and relock your bootloader, you can do that right there. So a really great uh, application here. Woke Fresh has done a tremendous job. But our first thing we're going to do here is to unlock the bootloader. So we're going to click on unlock. And we get some information here talking about unlocking will uh, completely erase everything on your Nexus 7. So you want to go ahead and back up all your personal files, music, videos, pictures, things like that before you start this process because it will completely erase everything. Now I don't have anything on here, it's brand new, um, ready to go. So we are going to click OK. Now we have to get into the bootloader menu. You can have the application do that for you but I'm going to go ahead and do it just to show you guys how to do that manually. One thing I forgot to mention that we have to do first is make sure the device is in USB debugging. So what you're going to do is go into your settings, go to the About tablet, and you just want to tap, 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 tap on the build number until you get a little message saying that you're a developer. And then that unlocks this little section down here at the bottom, Developers Options. We just want to click on that. And then USB debugging is here in the middle. You just want to make sure it's checked. Then uh, click OK when the little message pops up. And then you're ready to go. So we're going to power off.
Wait for that to turn off and then we are going to jump into the bootloader menu. Okay, very simple way to get into your bootloader menu. You want to hold the volume down and then you want to hold the power button at the same time. So volume down, power button. When you pop into the menu, let go. And there we go. This is your bootloader menu. You control uh, scrolling through the options by pushing up and down on your uh, volume buttons here. Then when you want to choose something, you push the power button. So now that we're in here, we're going to plug the device up. So it says, press yes if you would like the script to automatically boot your device into bootloader menu. Press no if you want to manually do it. I manually did it, so I'm going to press no. Okay, we just got this message saying that uh, we should see something on our screen here. And we do. This is asking us if we want to unlock the device and uh, some information about how this is going to void your warranty and all that good stuff. So yes, if you want to, no if you don't, and you use the volume keys to scroll. So we want to. So we click yes and the power button. And it says it might take a few minutes for this to uh, take effect. And there we go. Now it's rebooting. And it's going to completely boot back up. We need to, once it boots back up, go through the setup process and then go back in and enable USB debugging once again. So we'll be right back when that's all booted up and I've done all that. Alright, so I went through the process setting it all back up. I went into settings and enabled USB debugging once again, exact same way as we did before. It's plugged up and we're ready to go again. Now it says when you're ready for the rooting process, click OK. Click OK. We're back to our uh, main script here. Now we're going to click root. Now I also want to install this custom recovery, so I want to click that and then I'm going to click root. Alright, we get this message pop up and it talks a little bit about rooting. It talks a little bit about the custom recovery, what you can do with those things, um, putting on custom ROMs and things like that. It also says down here it gives you a warning that you must be unlocked before you can root. So says if you haven't done that to click cancel go back and unlock first but we've done that so we are going to click OK and it's checking okay sorry about that guys uh, probably the worst time to have the camera die on me and uh, right as that was going through the process but it's very it's basically you click that you click OK it checks the ADB, fast boot, all that. It reboots your device a couple times, uh, installs the custom recovery, it installs the super user, it flashes the super user, it uh, does all that good stuff, reboots a bunch of times, and then it says you're rooted and you're done. It's literally that easy. You, you click OK to start the process and then you don't touch it again until it's all done. And now it's rooted. It uh, talks about you should go in and check that everything is rooted and update the uh, app. And that is it guys, you are basically good to go. Your device is unlocked and rooted along with a custom recovery. So you are free to run apps that require root access like titanium backup things like that also put on custom roms just a ton of things you can do now so but that's it guys this is sam with mobiletechvideos.com i hope this video has helped you if it has be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you aren't already we got new stuff coming out all the time if you have any questions leave them down in the comment and i'll do my best to help you out as always guys i'll see you next time